Hi there, I'm Matt Chapman from Excel Physics. Today I'm going to introduce you to one of my childhood heroes, liquid oxygen, and I'm going to show you how to make it from scratch. So first, we're, we, we have a cryo cooler here running, and uh, that's making mostly liquid nitrogen, um, but not a whole lot of oxygen. So. been running for uh, about five hours and uh, got a pretty decent yield. So um, and that's just a, a, a simple camping thermos. So what I've done is I've made a heat exchanger um, by wrapping one eighth inch copper tubing around a uh, one inch PVC pipe. Uh, it's about four feet of copper. Uh, you could probably get by with three. Um, it'll, it'll probably work okay with a quarter inch copper tubing, but um, uh, eighth is, is nice. And then what you do is you take, you're going to need two vacuum flasks and uh, some kind of oxygen cylinder is, is a good idea. So what you're going to do is you're going to submerge the heat exchanger coil in the liquid nitrogen. It's going to bubble pretty hard because it's going to heat up the nitrogen to, uh, to its uh, boiling point. And then once that's cooled down, we can start the liquid oxygen phase. And so what we're going to do is we're going to pass, we're going to pass the oxygen through the coil and it's going to cause the oxygen to liquefy because liquid nitrogen is uh, 16 degrees colder than uh, liquid oxygen. So when the uh, oxygen passes through the coil, it's going to turn to a liquid. Oops. and then just gradually turn on the gas, find the right rate, and then you'll see it drip out of the uh, copper tubing. Okay, it's coming out, starting to percolate. So uh, then, once you know that it works, collect the drippings in another vacuum flask. And we are getting liquid oxygen. I suspect that the oxygen tank is getting very, very, very cold. So that's causing it to uh, reduce its production. So probably not the best idea to keep it right next to the liquid nitrogen, but uh, we'll call it good since that's all that it's looking like it's given. And then as I raise the coil out of the nitro, it starts to heat up, causing the remainder of the liquid to shoot out of the coil and into the collection cup. So that's how you get the, the rest of it. Otherwise, it'll squirt all over the table. Okay. So, then we see if we have liquid oxygen. It is in fact blue. I accidentally made thermite, sorry. <laughs> 